I constantly felt stressed and overwhelmed with my finances, pretty much holding my breath that my account wouldn't like overdraft. Living paycheck to paycheck was the, the norm. I was one catastrophe away from not being able to pay for something. Before we met, um, we both were previously married and we had a lot of debt, lawyers, fees, credit cards, like things like that left over from our previous marriages that were still lingering. And we knew that we needed to make changes in our future um, so that we wouldn't have the same circumstance happen again. So we wanted to kind of have a clean slate and wipe all that previous debt away so that we could come together and start building our future as opposed to paying for things in our past. After Financial Peace University, I, it was the first time that I really had a concept of how much debt I had. It was eye-opening to see um, how badly we were spending and going into debt because we thought we were happy. To me, it was like we were self-medicating. Like, I need this to feel good right now in the moment, and now my closet's full of items I don't necessarily need or use. I've spent thousands of dollars on clothes and hair products and makeup, and I'm like, I don't use any of those things, and all that is just wasted money. After we paid off our debt and we began working baby step three, we just felt more secure as a couple, more trust, uh, our bond was stronger. Freedom is the easiest word to explain it. We feel like we're working towards something that um, is going to build our future. It's indescribable. All right, Julie and Jeremy, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. So fun. So you're in Nashville for something really fun. You just did your debt-free scream. So how was that? Amazing. Surreal, <laughs> liberating. So great. Okay, so you guys paid off $60,000 in, what was it, like right over a year, right? 13 months, yeah. 13 months. Oh my gosh, so awesome. Okay, so take me back before you started this journey, when you guys were living like paycheck to paycheck, you're in debt before Financial Peace University, before the Total Money Makeover book, all of that, what was life like? Um, I had zero financial awareness. I had no concept of how much I made and how much debt I had. And I was just completely ob oblivious to those things. And it always would cause stress because I had all my um, debt on auto pay. And I would just like hope and pray every time like, I got a paycheck, like I went to overdraft. Like that was my way of going through life. Yes, yeah. what about you, Jeremy? What was it like for you? Um, I was in a rebellious stage um, because I felt I wanted to do what I wanted to do and spend mm -hmm. how I wanted to spend. And I wasn't paying attention to the details and I was just being normal and paycheck to paycheck, no emergency fund, relying on credit cards. Yeah, so what, what was the debt? Like what did you spend money on? Um, when you were going into debt, and what was your motivation behind it? Pretty normal. Mine was just like eating out, going on trips, um, bebopping through life. Um, nothing like we had credit cards, car payments, um, student loans. I mean, I thought, I really thought I was normal. <laughs> yeah, totally. And you were. I mean, to your yeah. credit, yeah. like that is, that, yeah. that's normal. Totally. Yeah, for sure. So you guys started the journey. What was the hardest step that you had to take? to begin getting out of debt? I just say no, simply. You know, sometimes you can't go out to dinner or go on that family trip or your friends call you last minute. Hey, we're yeah, the last minute this. stuff is hard yes, to say no to. Yes, for sure. Um, in context though, we were um, just saying no in the short term just so we can win in the long term. So just no for now, not no forever. So is the no in the short term worth it? Absolutely. What did you say? Yes. It's indescribable. I to me, it doesn't make sense why doesn't why doesn't everyone do, do this? It's so hard for me to get now. But I was mm. before I was aware of this program and getting out of debt even existed. I was that person. So. Yeah, for sure. So you guys, you would say we're pretty normal, quote unquote, Americans, right? As uh, before this journey and spending money on stuff because I feel like society tells us that you know you have to buy stuff to make you happy and mm -hmm. even marketing advertisements like all of that portray this image of, okay, this perfect life, if you just buy what we're selling. Mm -hmm. So what's your outlook now on stuff and even those advertisements when you see it? Um, I think that um, as marketers, they have a job to do to get your attention um, with all this digital media. And then uh, um, we have a job as consumers and adults and leaders of the families to kind of be aware and be um, make the right decisions and not impulse buy, because that's what they're betting on is your imp impulsive, impulsiveness. Um, but I 
through our different journey, I just quit social media just to oh, have all that together. all together, just to have that that's focus, awesome. that singular focus of because um, I knew that was a that was a friction point for me. I was mm. that's where they can get me. So let me just get off this for and and just kind of keep my eye on our goals. Yeah, I love that because I'm like they're so smart now. So yeah. even like the targeted ads and stuff on your social media, you're like. Oh yeah, this is everything that I love. Yeah, This is everything I yeah. love and I want to buy right now. Yeah. And now I feel like when you get to the end of your life, it's never like, oh, I wish I had more money. Usually it's like, oh, I wish I had more time, right? Yeah. To be with people that I love and yeah. to actually like prioritize your life even just over stuff. And sadly, we are a culture that is like obsessed with stuff. And you guys are a redemptive part of that story. Thank you. Of saying, you know what, we're done and we're gonna get out of debt. And you guys did it. You guys are amazing. Seriously, Seriously. thanks for stopping by. I know you just did the oh. big debt free scream yeah. on the national show. We pulled you down here in the studio, but sharing your story, it helps so many people. So thank you guys so much. Thanks, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it.